Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Chin and right now let's look at some of the complex questions that we can get in exam. Okay, the first question I ask you to solve for x. So I can write it as 3x plus 1, 27, I can write it as 3 to the power of 3. And bear in mind, let's say both sides is having the same base, this base can be cut off together and you will get x plus 1 equals to 3. x will be equals to 2. Done for the first equation. Okay, so let's look at the second question now. For the second question, you have base of 3 and you have base of 9. So how do you do it, right? Very simple. You just move this negative 9 to the right-hand side. I will get a positive 9x plus 1. And after that, you just need to reduce this base of 9 into 3 to the power of 2x plus 1. And I just rewrite it as 3x squared minus 6 equals to multiply 2x. You will get 3 to the power of 2x. Multiply, you will get plus 2. Okay? And you just need to move... You, right now, both sides having the same base, you can cancel the base, and I can write it as x squared minus 6 is equal to 2x plus 2. And this, I just need to solve this as a normal quadratic equation, which is x squared minus 6 minus 2x minus 2 is equal to 0. So, x squared minus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. So, you just need to factorize this. And I will get x, x, 4, 2, negative, positive, equals to 0. So, I will get x minus 4 equals to 0. x is equals to 4. Or, x plus 2 equals to 0. x equals to negative 2. So, for this question, I will have two different solutions. Okay. And let's look at the third question. This question is quite complicated. Okay. How do we solve it, right? So, for this, I can write it as 8 to the power of negative x, okay, is equals to 4 to the power of 1 plus x, okay, divide by 64 to the power of 1 over 2, okay. And this, I can further reduce into 8 negative x equals to 4, 1 plus x, divide by 64 is basically 4 to the power of 3 over 2. And how do you solve it, right? Very simple. So this, I can write it as 2 to the power of 3, negative x, equals to 2 to the power of 2, 1 plus x, divide by 2 to the power of 2, 3 over 2. Okay, so I reduce everything to the power of 2. And I will get 2, negative 3x, equals to 2, 2 plus 2x, divide by 2, to the power of 3 and finally I will get 2 negative 3x equals to 2 divided by negative 3 I will get 2 2 minus 3 which is negative 1 or I can write it as 2x minus 1 so right now both sides is sharing the same base I can just cancel the base together and finally I will get negative 3x equals to 2x minus 1 so I will get 2x plus 3x equals to negative 1. Sorry, equals to 1. And finally, I will get 5x equals to 1. x equals to 1 over 5. Done for this question. And right now, let's look at the next question. Okay, for this, okay, we have 500, we have 1, 2, 5, and we have 5, 2, x plus 2. So what I need to do first, okay, I will just need to move the 500, okay, to the right hand side I will get 125 plus 500 which is equivalent to 625 so 52x plus 2 is equal to 5625 and 625 is basically 5 to the power of 4 so I can cancel the base now okay and I can straight away write it as 5 eh, sorry 2x plus 2 is equal to 4 so 2x equals to 2 x equals to 1. Done. Okay, and the next question, okay, you need to do the same thing also. So, you need, just need to move the 16 to the right hand side. I'll uh, get 16, 6 minus 2x. Okay, so 4x square, 16 is basically 4 square, 6 minus 2x. So, 4x square is equals to 4, 12 minus 4x. And right now, again, you can cancel the 4 now. I will get x squared equals to 12 minus 4x. 
and I will get x squared my plus 4x minus 12 is equals to 0. So for this, I will get, I will need to factorize it completely, x, x, 6, 2, plus, minus. Okay, so I will do it here. Okay, and I can, you can say it as x minus 2 equals to 0, x equals to 2, or x plus 6 equals to 0, x equals to negative 6. Done. Okay, and finally, let's look at this very complicated question. Okay, so how do we do this question, right? Again, square root in indices is basically the whole thing to the power of 1 over 2. And this, I can write it as 5x, 1, 2, 5x minus 1 to the power of negative 1. Okay, so what I need to do, 6, 2, 5, as what I mentioned before, is basically 5 to the power of 4 and multiply by x plus 2, and again, 1 over 2. And this, I just need to multiply the negative in, I will get 5 negative x, okay, and multiply by 1, 2, 5, 1 minus x, because I just sub the negative in inside. Okay, so what I need to do, I just need to, okay, right now, I need to multiply here, multiply here, and I will get 5, 4x plus 8 to the power of 1 over 2, is equals to 5 negative 8x multiplied by, look at 1, 2, 5. For 1, 2, 5, I can write it as 5 to the power of 3. So I just write it as 5 to the power of 3, 1 minus x. And finally, okay, 1 over 2, you need to multiply by 4x as well as multiply by 8. So I will get 5 to the power of 2x plus 4 equals to 5 negative x multiplied by 5, 3 minus 3x. Okay, and by using the law of indices, I can combine these two terms into 5, negative x, negative 3x, I will get 3 plus minus 4x equals to 5, 2x plus 4. And right now, I can cancel the 5 now, and I will get 2x plus 4 is equals to 3 minus 4x, and I will get 6x is equals to negative 1. x is equal to negative 1 over 6. Okay, and the last part, okay, we'll be solving simultaneous equation. Okay, so we have two different variables here, x and y, x and y, and we have two different equations here. So how do we solve it? So first, you need to reduce this in terms of x in terms of y. So basically, 1 to 5 is 5 to the power of 3x divided by 25 is 5 to the power of 2y equals to 5 to the power of 4. So this I can write as 5, 3x minus 2y equals to 5 to the power of 4. So after this, I can cancel my 5, cancel my 5, I will get 3x minus 2y equals to 4. And this is my first equation. And second, let's look at this equation right now. So I can write it as 2 bracket 2 square x equals to 2 to the power of 5 y. So I can write it as 2 multiplied by 2x, sorry, 2 to the power of 2x is equals to 2 to the power of 5 y. And this I can write it as 2 1 multiplied by 2 2 x equals to 2 5 y. And this I can combine as 2, 2x plus 1 is equal to 2, 5, y. And after this, I can cancel the base of 2. So this I will get 2x plus 1 is equal to 5y. So 2x equals to 5y minus 1. So x is equal to 5y minus 1 over 2. So this is my second equation. So I just need to perform substitution, a sub-equation 2 into 1. I will get 3 bracket 5y minus 1 over 2 minus 2y equals to 4. So I will get 15y minus 3 over 2 minus 2y equals to 4. And I multiply everything by 2 to get rid of the 
denominator. So 15y minus 3 minus 4y equals to 8. So 15y minus 4y, 11y equals to 8 plus 3, 11. y is equals to 1. Okay, and right now I got my y equals to 1. Let's solve for my x. So x equals to 5, 1 minus 1, which is 4 minus 1 over 2, which is 2 over 2, and you will get 1 as well. Okay, hey, sorry, I made a mistake here. Okay, sorry. So 5 minus 1, which is 4 over 2, and you will get 2. Okay, and this will be your final answer.